Here with Vincent Brown ahead of Saturday's game at Thaddeus Stevens. Coach, great to be back with you after a couple weeks. Uh, let's talk about the bye. You know, a bye week for college football. Uh, it doesn't mean a week off for you and your staff as you guys got out on the road and uh, got to see some high school kids in action and do some recruiting. Just talk about what the last 10, 12 days have been like for not only uh, your team and trying to get healthy and prepare for Thaddeus Stevens, but also your staff. Well, first, Walker, thankful and blessed for another week of football, excited. Uh, you know, we talk about the bye week. It's it's a week to, uh, one, get your guys healthy. Um, we, we've we been hit with that uh, injury bug this year. Um, you know, I, I've been meeting with our strength and conditioning coach and uh, Coach Scorpio Brown as well, Coach Herbert Fields, and just coming up with ways to be creative. Um don't feel like that we attacked it the way that we did previous years. Um, you know, whether that was um, participation from our students, you know, uh, with our situation, with work and just uh, different vacations and things. But to this point, uh, just getting back and getting healthy was the most important thing. So being able to go out the previous week and compete and, and get the victory was great for our program. But just really uh, being able to get healthy and then kind of iron out some of the fine details of the schemes that we're trying to to make sure we understand and run with the mix of players now um, as Quentin Wallace we can talk about a little bit he stepped up um, giving Mason time some recovery time but now he has some log game time hours which is important especially for freshmen you talk about Quentin uh, stood out against uh, Georgia Warhawks a couple weeks ago uh, won the offensive player of the week and uh Jay Sean Miller Arrington, another standout player from that game. Just talk about how big it is for, like you said, those freshmen, those new guys to get uh, that game time as you start to look ahead uh, to future seasons. Well, one thing I preach here, Walker, especially during our first uh, camp meetings is everyone is going to have an opportunity to play. You just have to prepare yourself the right way. You have to be ready. You have to know the scheme, uh, know the alignments, know the adjustments, and then when your number's called, they live in the moment. And that's what I told both of those guys. And you could see their preparation each uh, weekend and week out. And so I was extremely proud of both of those young men. And now they're getting better. And now that kind of set the tone for some of our other younger guys who just feel like they have to play the background role. But I told them here and in college football, you always have to be prepared. And so that really helped us getting a lot of guys some game time experience and then moving on into as we transition to this week uh, which is a tough opponent in Thaddeus Stevens. Talk about the Bulldogs a very run heavy offense and we'll get into what they do uh, here in a minute but last year a tough game up in Lancaster uh, you guys get out to a big lead and then they storm back in the second half to uh, only fall by two touchdowns just talk about what you've seen from Thaddeus Stevens and uh, and how their fight translates regardless of who's on the roster from year to year well I think coach runs a great program up there um, unique program similar to what we do but they concentrate more in the automotive world and uh, being able to help those young men gain careers after being able to play for the seasons they can up there he's done a tremendous job um, and, and they rebuild every year like we do so I think it's a great matchup we know last year they came out physical you know and we we got to put into uh, account that we had to travel this week we have to travel the right way we're going back up there and then we just our mindset has to be ready to go we can't afford to start slow like we have in the previous weeks and I thought we we fixed that the previous week against the war uh, Warhawks and so I feel comfortable and confident that we're going to go in and our guys are up for the challenge a lot of guys are missing the excitement of Saturday football and I, I tell them it's a week for us to get up uh, healthy but also a week for us to go out and show build a football which I don't feel like we have shown a complete package of what we're capable of and hopefully this week we'll get it done on the defensive side you guys are going to face a very run heavy offense uh, not like the Washington and Lee run heavy offense but still a lot of the same uh, the same tendencies and stuff in this Thaddeus Stevens maybe without the option just talk about what the defense is going to have to do in terms of their physicality to be able to slow down a team that is starting to figure it out winners of two straight well first and foremost we're going to have to be physical up front i mean and uh i trust in that d line i trust in our coordinator coach tim smith to have those guys ready to go 
Um, but it starts with them, and that's what they're going to do. We're, we're calling. I, I heard it's going to be maybe a little bad weather, maybe some rain. It's football weather. I love it, you know, and that's what it's all about. But it's going to get a little nasty in the inside, and you have to be ready for four quarters of that. Um, our linebackers have to play well. I know Chase has had a great week of practice. I'm excited to see him play along with Austin Flippin and uh, JT Dupreece. You know, those guys have been learning the scheme that we're trying to get done. And uh, I feel confident that we'll go out and play. But I'm, I'm confident on the offensive side of the ball as well that we got a lot of pieces back that's healthy. Um, even though we had to make a couple different uh, change-ups with the offensive line. But guys are ready to step in and play. But uh, our receiving core is healthier than it's ever been. And our running back room is healthier than it's ever been. So I look for those guys to have a great, a, a big game running the ball. But uh, as well as catching the short and long balls, you know, and being ready. And Mason's back this week as well. So he's healthy. He's been looking sharp and crisp. So I'm excited for this game. Um, I think it's a testament for us to be able to travel and go play well. And um, I'm, lo I'm looking forward to it. What's your biggest key uh, for builder football to show up for the first time this year, really the first time this year? My number one key, Walker, every week is discipline football. I want our guys to play discipline, fast, focus, and a lot of effort. Go out there and just be thankful that you're able to play the game of football. Be blessed and go out there and have fun, but play it the right way. Play discipline, fast, focus football, and I'll live with the outcome. Appreciate the time, Coach. Best of luck this weekend. Always a pleasure. Thank you. Here with the KB on Petty ahead of Saturday's game at Thaddeus Stevens. TK, appreciate the time. Let's talk about how the season's gone for you guys. Maybe not the uh, amount of wins that you guys would like to have, but starting to build, especially after that uh, big win over Georgia Warhawks. Just talk about uh, the state of the locker room right now and how you guys are getting ready for this big matchup on Saturday. Well, right now, I feel like we're starting to buy in more as a team, as an offense, as a defense, special teams. We're all starting to buy in as a complete team, which we needed from the jump from week one. But I feel like, I feel like the, the aroma in the locker room is starting to come together, you know. Wide re the wide receiver room probably as healthy as it has been coming into this game. Just talk about the camaraderie that you guys have built, especially with a lot of these pieces having gone in and out of the lineup, but everybody's still seeming to be, you know, locked in. Yeah, we're, we're a tight-knit group. We're real close. We talk outside of, you know, practice all the time. We joke around all the time. But, um. I feel like Ricky, you know, Keg, Ernest, them guys from last year, and the freshmen, we got a good freshman group this year. So I feel like they really help, you know, buy in, lock in early to come to that common goal that we want as an offense. Talk about your growth in your time that you've been here as an apprentice. You've been in this program for a number of years now. Just talk about how you've seen yourself grow, not only on the football field, but also out on the shipyard and in your personal life. Um, well, this intern year two, it, I feel like it made me grow more into a man. Uh, I'm, I just bought my first apartment at 19, so I feel like um, it helped me manage my money, I guess, Ma money management, you know. And then as far as football, it, I guess, it helped mold me into the man that I want to be later in life, you know. Biggest key for you guys as an offense going into Saturday's game, what is it? To be dominant. Be dominant, punch first, and dominate. Appreciate the time, TK. Yes, sir. Thank you. Here with Chandler Perry ahead of Saturday's game against Thaddeus Stevens. CP, thanks for the time. Let's talk about uh, where you guys are at as a team right now. Two and three, so maybe not the wins and losses that you guys wanted to see at this point, but big win over Georgia Warhawks two weeks ago. Bye week, now headed into the second half of the season. Just talk about where we are as a team. Uh, as a team, uh, you know, trying to focus back in, you know, uh, just try to get back in the win column, man. You know, we're trying to get back over 500, you know, winning out. Um, trying to get to that bowl game, man, with a great mindset, you know. Uh, you know, a lot of guys, you know, kind of got a lot of freshmen in here, you know, not really understanding the culture, really. We're trying to bring those guys in as one and uh, trying to make us a good family. You've been in this program for a number of years. Just yeah, talk about how you've seen yourself grow on the football field and also in your personal life throughout this apprenticeship. Right. Um, you know, this apprenticeship, man, honestly, you know, one of the best things I ever did. Um, you know, as a football player, you know, understand the game a lot faster because this game is way faster than high school. If you're not, if, if you don't watch football, you should watch it. Um, but um, in personal life, man, you know, help me grow as a leader. Um, help, help, you know, in, at work, you know, being able to talk more. Um, back in the day, I wouldn't be able to do things like this. So, you know, this, this program is great, honestly. As a defense, you guys have really started to mold together. You've had a lot of 
changes because of injuries and stuff like that throughout the year. Just talk about where you see this defense at right now as we head into the second half of the season. Honestly, man, coming in, you know, as, with a whole change of scheme, you know, coming in about two weeks ago, um, guys actually focused in, learning the scheme pretty quickly, uh, wanting to learn the scheme and uh, executing the scheme, how coach wants us to execute it, and I uh, feel like it's doing pretty well. What's the biggest key for the defense as you guys head up to Lancaster to take on the Bulldogs? Uh, get to the ball, man. Uh, make plays. Uh, we know we're dominant. So as uh, long, long as we play our type of football, we'll be able to come up with doing. CP, thanks for the time. Best of luck, Saturday. Appreciate you. Here with McKegg and Pierkowski ahead of Saturday's game at Thaddeus Stevens. Keg, appreciate the time. Uh, the team, maybe not the wins and losses that you guys wanted at this point of the year, but starting to move in the right direction, especially with that win on a couple Saturdays ago against Georgia Warhawks. Just talk about where you see this team at going into the sixth game of the season in the second half. Uh, all week of practice, we had a great week. You know, everybody's firing, everybody's, you know, doing their part. Uh, head of the season, I see us winning all five games, you know. Nobody can stop us, you know. We've got the best offense, you know, here and in the country. So, Wide receiver room, we asked uh, TK about it earlier. You guys are as healthy as you guys have been yeah. all year. Just talk about that camaraderie that you guys have. Even with the injuries that everybody's faced, you guys seem to still be a really tight-knit group. Yeah, so with the injuries, you know, from the beginning of the season, we're short, very short. And, uh... Now we're all healthy, so we're all buying in. We're all having a good time. Uh, yeah. Second year in the program. Uh, talk about how you've seen yourself grow, uh, not, not only on the football field, but also you know out on the shipyard in your personal life as you've gotten into this apprenticeship here at the apprentice school. Yeah, I came in, you know, open-minded. I didn't know where I was going. Uh, came in. First year was a little shaky. Got hurt. Uh, now I'm here, balling out. So. What's the biggest key for you guys as a wide receiver group and as an offense to be able to get back in the win column, get to 500, and beat Thaddeus Stevens for a second straight year? Yeah, you know, Mason, he's got to get the ball. we got to make big plays. Uh, big plays going to win the game. Yeah, we won't lose. Okay, appreciate the time. Best of luck Saturday. Thank you.